I'm Danielle Jones Wesley for the Red Carpet Report, and we're in Westwood at the premiere of Apple TV Plus's new show, C. I got to watch two episodes, and wow, as the shadow, that character is so cool. What was it like to play that, and also, um, you know, being a part of the world in a non-seeing way? Right. Um, well, I love Bo Lion. Um, she off the page was someone that I immediately connected to um, because she's so mysterious and there's so much about this world that's so mysterious and that we don't know about. Um, and that's really what I connected to when I first saw it. So when I first read the script, I was like, this is such an incredible story. And seeing names like Stephen Knight and Francis Lawrence on on the project, I was like, I am so in, I will do anything. And it was just, it's been an incredible process. And with the blindness, it's, um, it, it was such an incredible training process. Joe Streche, who's right behind me, uh, he was part of training us uh, in the skills that blind people use um, to navigate through the world. And he was one of the world builders with us. So. And the whole costume of the shadow. How did that go down? Because I was like, I don't see any nudity, but like, I know you're not wearing clothes. <laughs> yeah. So that's exactly what happened. It was all makeup. Uh, I was nude under the makeup. <laughs> and uh, and it was an incredible thing because we, I was in the weather, you know, we were all outside for the whole show. It, essentially like 95% of the show was shot outdoors. And uh, so I was just in the elements and I found it really exciting actually and even though it was like super cold and some of the days were really long I found uh, that it kept me up and it kept me awake and it kept me on my toes um, and I learned how to breathe when I'm cold and how to uh, you know kind of take care of my body throughout that kind of difficult process yeah we also see your character kind of omit some truths um, where can we expect your character to do with this information well, that's something you'll have to watch and see. Um, but uh, I can say that Bo Lion has a deep respect for the sacredness of information and that if you are an observer, you are changing the outcome of something. It's in quantum physics. Like, you know that just by being there, you are a part of something, uh, whether you actively participate or not. And I think that's one of the most cool things about Bo Lion as a character is that she holds these sacred truths and, and keeps them to herself until she knows what to do with them. She kind of embodies the theme, which I feel like the show is going towards, which means just because you have sight, it can go take you down a bad path. And your character is able to see both sides of that almost in some ways. Is that part of the appeal? Yeah, well, I mean, for me, I think that the mystery of the twins and of this kind of magical ability to see is what brings me in. And what keeps me there is the fact that they have something special about them and that I don't think Bo Lion sees it as right or wrong. I don't think she sees it as witchcraft and I don't think she sees it as their gods. I think she sees it as this is something special. And I... Uh, connect to that because as a shadow I also have a secret I also have something that is special about me and there is a connection there and it's unspoken and I awesome I can't wait to watch more episodes congratulations it's a hit <laughs> thank you it's a jungle out there if you like our coverage click like subscribe and comment below or just leave me a knotted rope